all right welcome back so let's see how we can refresh our states based on country yes so now the important thing is to figure out what event you want this to change on so do you want it to change when i click and let go when you click and let go and then this changes or do you want it to change immediately you click so those are things you have to think about so let's see what events we can add and by the way we don't need any of these guys here bum, bum, bum. so we remove everything Boom. state province region yes yes okay so right here uh we need a um Oh, by the way, we need to be able to select this item. So let's put a class here, shall we? First of all, let's put a name. That's important for when we submit the form. So the name is a state. And the name of this one is country. But we need a class for JavaScript. So let's write JS country and same thing here class let's write js state that way we can easily identify them in javascript so i want to collect some data from here now i want to add an on click listener here so what i will do is say on now it's very important which of these events i select because if i use a key press then uh, only keyboard input so let's try on input for now, I just want an alert of an empty string, just so I know when the event is firing. So refresh, click, click, and it fires, right? Click, click, it fires. So that's perfect, yeah? Mm -hmm. So that's the one right there, on input. So on input, we'll say get states. Now, what does get states uh, require? It expects an ID, doesn't it? So let's give it the ID of the current item. So this, the value of this will be the ID. So let's just say this dot value. This dot value. That's what we'll send it. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So let's come back here. Now, instead of sending the data, I just want to see the data actually we are sending ah, actually let's just send the data why not all i want now is at the end here to have a console.log with the result so let me refresh my page inspect elements go to the console right here that's where we should watch so click click so it shows me false, click, click, another false. So not very good information, is it? So let's go back to the checkout Ajax controller. So it's telling me that this one is returning false, but why? So first of all, I want to see what is contained in data type and what is contained in it. So let's try print readable ID. So let me see what I am receiving there. So I don't need to refresh the page because it's Ajax. Uh -huh. So this is what I'm receiving. ID is equal to two and then false. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so it seems the data is saved in there and not here. Yeah, yeah, because the data type is what leads to this point, I guess. Now, somebody did ask in the comment section why I am using uh, I'm not I'm using Ajax here and not just putting a uh, a refresh button here or something or using the normal posting or post variable or something like that. The problem is we don't really have a choice here. We have to use Ajax to update the input boxes like this. There's no other way to do it because I could put a post button here, a refresh button with a form and then i tell the user that once you select a country uh, then you have to click the refresh button in order to refresh the states 
the problem with that is that you can't trust users, obviously, if it's possible for them to select a country here and then maybe the first time they'll click refresh and then the states for that country will come, right? But if they decide to change the country here, then they have a listing here of states that don't belong to that country. Then they can simply select and leave it like that without clicking refresh just to mess with you. So, or they could do it by mistake and then you get a country and a state that do not match. So to avoid all that, we just have to use Ajax. So Ajax is our friend this time. So looking at this uh, ID is two here. So the problem we're having here, the reason we're returning false here is that we are not supplying an ID there. We're supplying a whole, uh, an object instead right that's what we are supplying there so we have to convert this into an actual object and then just get the id so what i will do here is i will say uh, json json uh, decode that's the one right there so json decode that and so i will save it inside uh, ID like that so you can save it uh, as a different um, a different entity or a different name so there's just ID and two so here then I will have to put that arrow and put oh not two but ID like that so I'm just getting the ID itself okay so that should do the trick so let's refresh the page and let me select a country and now, as you can see, I have retrieved one record of that country, which is coming down here. And the reason you don't see an error is because this is valid JSON, right? So I have one city there. I have another city there. I can see that as JSON data. So what can we do with this, though? So let me come to checkout.php, which is inside views. And this is where we're supposed to handle the results. So I'll leave this console.log just for error checking in future, but you have to remove it when you are done and ready to deploy. Of course, you don't want the console logging out important information. 